Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and today on the video, we're going to be showing you how to do a BIOS update on the Acer A515 43. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to perform a BIOS update on your Acer Aspire. Now, this is specifically for the A515 43. Your model may be slightly different, but the procedure is pretty much identical. So follow me through and you'll find out how to do it safely and securely. Now I am going to be recording this in OBS via split screen, which is why at the moment on the screen you can possibly see that it says duplicate. So don't worry about that, it's just it. Sometimes when you reboot the machine, the OBS and the HD60 doesn't always keep all the information. So just thought I'd put it out there just in case you uh, miss out any segments. But I'll try and capture as much of it as I possibly can. Now, first of all, actually, the reason why I'm doing this is we're actually going to be upgrading the RAM. So Silicon Power have been kind enough to send me over a RAM upgrade for the laptop. So we'll be definitely doing a video on that very shortly. So uh, if you want to see how that goes, click on the subscribe button and the chime button and you'll be notified of future video releases. But that's going to be coming up in an upcoming video. But what I want to do is make sure that we're on the latest BAS first of all, so that we can get the best out of the memory when we install it. So what we need to do is to go over to the computer. And the first thing to do is to, maybe before you actually start doing this, is to look on the base of your computer. Now on the base of your computer, you'll see some serial numbers and SNIDs, that kind of thing. Good idea is to either take a quick snapshot with your mobile phone or write them down into a notepad. Now I've taken my uh, Mike's unboxing calendar for the year and I've written it in the back of there just so I don't have to kind of look at the bottom and also try and look at the screen at the same time. It makes life a lot easier. So make a note of your SNID number, which you'll see on the screen right now. So to start with then, open up a Chrome browser or Edge browser or whatever browser you choose and just go to uh, acer.com and you'll probably find it redirects to your local region. Now I'm actually on my page already but what we'll do is, uh, is if you're doing this for the first time, so let's do find another model. And this is what you'll see, the Acer support screen. So I'll leave links to this in the video description so you can click on it straight away. But it says, we are here to help enter your serial number or SNID. Now the SNID is obviously the best way of doing it. And then you can get all the information. So we're going to type in our SNID number. Now, like I said, I've written mine down in the back of my diary for easy access. And I would suggest you do a similar thing also. So you don't have to type in SNID, just the actual number itself. So mine is 9360-841-6634. Let's make sure that's right. 9360-841-6634. Perfect. If you do put the wrong number in, you may actually find you get the wrong model. So do be careful when you're entering that number. So all we do then is click on Find. And there we go. This is our Acer Aspire A515-43. Now, because there's so many models of the Acer laptops out there on the market, it really is a good idea that you do it from the SNID or the serial number. You can do it manually by choosing your device, but there are tons of them to choose from. So, especially when BIOS is concerned, you don't want to download the wrong BIOS because that could be a complete catastrophe. So do it from the SNID number. I can't stress that enough. So anyway, moving on. So this is the uh, support page for the Acer Aspire A515-43. And we've got all the options for drivers and manuals and all that kind of stuff. But the one that we're particularly interested in is BIOS and firmware. So we'll click on that one. And first of all, obviously, the obvious message that you're going to get, upgrading your system BIOS incorrectly could harm your Acer product. Please proceed with caution. Now, the same goes for me. Obviously, anything that I'm doing in this video, if you replicate it, make sure you're doing it carefully. Obviously, we can't be held responsible for anything that could go wrong during the process. One thing you will need to do before you actually perform the BIOS update is to make sure your device is actually on mains power. It will not flash the BIOS on battery power just in case it went into some kind of sleep mode or things like that. So do make sure you've got power absolutely uh, ready to be used. So looking through the BIOSes, now currently I did check mine earlier and mine is actually on version 1.05. So there has actually been a few BIOS updates since then, which is a really good thing to see. It means that Acer are actually taking notice of any potential problems and issues that people are having and are updating the firmware and or EUFI BIOS as time goes on. So the latest one we've got here is from the 11th of May, 2020, and this is version 108. So I wanna go ahead now and download this. And I'm gonna download this one onto my Windows desktop. And then click save. 
I find it quite easy to download to the desktop, at least you know where it is. Obviously, you can download it to whatever location you want to, ideally not a virtual drive or a network attached drive, just in case there's any issues. So ideally a drive actually on the device itself. And when that's done, you can click on the down arrow or show in folder or just double click on it and you can go into it. So here we are, here is the uh, update and it's currently in a compressed file. So what we need to do is right click on it and we'll choose extract all and I'll extract it into a folder. And then it should display your files. If not, just click on the folder to go into it. And the one that we want to use is this application. So that's eh5lp108.exe. Obviously, if you're doing this a little bit later or you're doing a previous version, then your file name may be slightly different, but just make sure it's the correct one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this file and I'm going to choose run as administrator. First of all, you get this message saying Windows protects your PC and you'll need to click on more info. And this is because it's an unknown publisher. So just click on run anyway. And you'll get the Windows logo at the bottom here, the, the shield and user account control. Just agree to this, click yes. And then it'll start extracting the file and start the program up. So this is a relatively automated process and it comes up with a warning message. Caution, you're about to update your system firmware. Before continuing, please save your work and close all other applications. Uh, when the program is running, do not put the system into standby or hibernation. Do not launch other applications and do not press the power button. Open or close the lid, dock or undock the system, remove any USBs, firewire or anything like that. So basically just leave it alone, let it get on with doing whatever it needs to do. Obviously if you get to this point and it says it can't do it for any reason, check to make sure you've got the right files and obviously if you get the power message to say that it hasn't got the power plug plugged in or it's not switched on, make sure you're powered on at the mains and then you can restart a process again. So we're happy to go on with this, so we're going to click on OK. And pretty much all the programs that are running in the background normally on here I've closed down, such as Steam, Discord, etc. And now it's going into the restart mode, so we'll see what happens. Now unfortunately, on the capture screen, you can't actually see what is going on here. So if I quickly spin that round a little bit, hopefully not... So it says there, do not remove the AC power, and this is basically the flash procedure going on. So BIOS update is manual. Sorry, BIOS update is automatic. This is not a manual process, so it just goes through and does its own thing. There's no user intervention required, and again, whilst it's doing this, do not unplug anything, and try not to touch it. Just leave it alone, let it get on with doing it as a thing. You should notice that the fans will ramp up considerably to pretty much full speed. That is completely normal. Don't panic, it's absolutely fine. It's not overheating or gonna light on fire. It's, uh, it's all good. So there we go, it says update BIOS completed. And it should now just do a kind of like a verification process. Again, just wait for it to complete what it needs to do. And the fans have ramped right down, so that means it's coming towards the end of whatever it's doing. And then it'll reboot itself again. I haven't touched anything, there's no remote keyboards or anything. This is all doing it by itself, so you shouldn't have to have any intervention. If it takes a little bit longer than expected, just wait, let it continue what it needs to do. Now in theory, when it comes back on, it should do things like your memory retraining and all that kind of stuff, if that is appropriate for your system. And there we go, we've got our ASAR, ASAR, ASAR logo back on. It does take a little while, but we should be back into Windows now quite happily. And there we go, back into Windows. And uh, from what I can see from the other screen, yep, it's actually still duplicating the monitor. So it's retained our Windows settings and all that kind of stuff. So we've got no issues there. And now you can just go in, log in as you would normally. And Windows is back up and running. No obvious issues or any complaints, no blue screens or uh, no bricking of the device. So everything has worked perfectly. And that is pretty much it. So everything that appears to be working, uh, trackpad is working, Wi-Fi is working, batteries charging, all that kind of stuff. So I would consider this to be a success. So there you go, there is how to update the firmware or BIOS on your Acer A515-43. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the memory upgrade video. Thanks for watching.